Welcome to GamesWise, it's me Wisecracker, and in today's episode, The Chroma! And in this episode, I'm going to explain all about this new frame, and how you use him. But first, here's a simplified build for The Chroma. It has almost 100% in all factors, so duration, strength, efficiency, etc. And as you can see, the build is, is pretty simple. It, it's, it can be done by anybody. It has the, the Rage mod installed as well, because when I get damaged, I have enough energy to back myself up. So there you go, here is the build. Very simple, it's not about the build, uh, it's about the abilities, which I'm going to explain to you right now. First of all, by choosing a color, you can give your Chroma a elemental attribute. You can add toxin, electricity, heat or cold to your abilities. And we begin with heat damage. So with the first ability, Spectral Scream, your Chroma will spit fire! So in this case you do heat damage, plus the targets you ignite have a chance to panic and flail around. Certain elements are great against certain enemies. So in this case with heat I went to fight the infested. You can deactivate this ability at any time. With the second ability you create an offensive area of effect for you and your allies. With heat you create a flame aura around the Chroma and his allies, increasing your health and doing heat damage. With the third ability, when the shield are damaged, your armor grows stronger, and when health is damaged, your weapon will grow stronger. So basically, a bullshit ability. So we go straight to the ultimate effigy. And what does this do? Well, you create a sentry gun. And in this case, your sentry gun will do heat damage with a spectral scream attack. And occasionally, the sentry will unleash a radial roar which will temporarily stun nearby enemies. And if enemies get too close, the sentry gun will unleash a radial attack that flings enemies back. Basically, the sentry gun is the outer skin of the Chroma itself, so when you put down your sentry gun, the Chroma will gain 20% movement speed, but also a penalty of 50% to armor. While the sentry gun is active, your energy will slowly drain.
Now that we have done the heat damage, it's time for cold damage. So, let's check out the first ability again, Spectral Scream. So with cold damage, you just straight up freeze your enemies. You reduce a target's movement speed and fire rate by 50%. If you activate the elemental ward with cold, you increase your armor and you create an ice shield that reflects incoming fire and it fires it back right to the source. And there's also a chance to chill that source. Okay, we forget about this ability again, bye bye. So we again come to the ultimate ability Effigy, only this time with cold damage. And it basically does exactly the same as last time, only this time with cold damage. So you freeze your enemies now. You still stun enemies with a radial roar and still fling enemies back with a radial blast. So now that we have cold damage done, it's time for the next one and it is Toxin! Let's do this! So when activating your Spectral Scream ability, you do Toxin damage which bypasses shields and proto shields and is able to directly affect health. When activating the elemental ward with Toxin, you emit a aura of noxious fumes and increase your stamina and it reduces stamina cost. And also you have a chance to poison nearby enemies.
and quick skip which brings us to the ultimate ability again only this time with toxin damage let's take a look So three done, one to go, and it is electricity damage. So how will this look? Using the spectral scream and electricity will straight up kill your enemies or briefly stun them. Using Elemental Ward with Electricity infuses the Chroma with Electric Current increasing his current shield and absorbing incoming damage before discharging a lightning bolt killing or again stunning your enemies. Okay, because this is the last one, let's check out the Vex armor. Okay, show it to me. Well, great. Now, now you've seen the Vex armor. Are you happy now? Great, then we continue with the ultimate ability, 
effigy only this time with electricity and if I may say so electricity looks awesome with the chroma it looks great so that's just an opinion ah uh, the chroma so misunderstood you just need to know how to use it so before you go to a mission think about this what enemy will I be facing and then just go to your color schemes and pick out the nicest colors you can think of and then blast them with heat, electric, toxin or cold damage and everything will be alright. So I hope you enjoyed this video, check me out in all my other videos and until then, adios. Frozen in your globe, look at this! And they're both frozen and while they are freezing they lose health. And that is what this augment does, ladies and gentlemen. It's very handy when you're doing missions alone or when you're doing defense missions against infested. But even in the void, you can become invincible.